Hello everyone, my name is Stu the Fig, and today I'm going to be showing you how Hatsune Miku and the Jenny collaboration U2s came to be. So first off, we're going to go off the, the history behind Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku is a Vocaloid made by Krypton Future Media Incorporated. However, the game rights belong to Sega. So like since 2009, you have uh, Project Megamix, and then yeah, Sega owns that. What else Sega owns is Atlas. And Atlas owns all the Persona series, all the Shin Megami Tensei. So specifically here, in Persona 4 Dancing All Night, Hatsune Miku is a sub-character for like DLC. So she's technically in Persona 4 Dancing All Night. And looking at the lore, Persona 4 Dancing All Night is canon to the Persona universe, meaning Hatsune Miku is canon in that universe. Although um, Persona 4 Dancing took place in a dream, it was technically in the Velvet Room. So meaning, I guess Hatsune Miku is a Velvet Attendant, I guess. So let's go with that. Okay, so Persona 4 Dancing is based off Persona 4 itself. And um, from here we're going to see how Persona 5, or Persona 4 ties in with Persona 5. And the two uh, big uh, people that to show with that is uh, Risei Kujikawa at the top and Naoto Shiragani at the bottom. So, in Persona 5, when you're in the trade station, you're going to see it's ad for Sapphire. And uh, Sapphire is um, the grown-up version of Risei Kujikawa, when she came back to uh, performing after the events of Persona 4. And then uh, Naoto Shiragane is uh, known as the Detective Prince. And then um, she's um, excited to see that Akechi is going to be also known as the Detective Prince as well. So basically, Persona 5 has its own like subs subsidiaries of a uh, separate game, so there's Persona 5 Stri Strikers and Persona 5 uh, Dancing in the Starlight. So in Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight, um, there's going to be Yakuza. There's going to be Yakuza outfits to tie in because uh, Sega also owns the Yakuza series. And then also in Persona 5 Strikers, uh, there's a reference to Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is a um, pretty neat uh, just, just tying in things. You might be wondering why am I trying to bring up a uh, Jenny Wakeman and uh, Hatsune Miku with uh, 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 Yakuza. The main reason why is in the Fairly Odd Christmas movie, Yakuza is mentioned. If you don't believe me, I have it right here. It's basically they're just in the they're flying over Japan for a, a pl the plot of the movie. There he is. Yeah, that's uh, Kiryu. Okay. Go back to this. Okay, so yeah, Yakuza is technically canon in the Fairly Odd Parents universe as well. So that means, and uh, the Fairly Odd Christmas movie is a. Uh, is a uh, what's the word? It's a. Uh, uh, a Christmas sequel to the Fairly Odd movie, which is a uh, a future version of the Fairly Odd Parents, and the Fairly Odd Parents. They have this uh, episode called the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, where they um, uh, have Jimmy and Timmy, so, uh, Jimmy from uh, Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. They have a little collaboration, and then uh, Jimmy Neutron, Jimmy's father is Hugh Neutron. Hugh Neutron is the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. You know who else is Nickelodeon All Star Brawl? Jenny Wakeman. <laughs> so yeah. That's how you tie in Hatsune Miku to Jenny Wakeman to get the Jenny Wakeman Hatsune Miku U2s. Thank you for watching.